In this video, I'm gonna show you how to color correct and color grade your Apple ProRes log footage. So I'm gonna show you how to get from log, color correction, to color graded. I'm also going to include best practices and certain settings that you can use to get better footage as well. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to transform your flat log footage into stunning professional looking content. Before we get into the color grading process, let's talk about log. It preserves way more information than standard profiles you get incredible dynamic range catching details in both shadows and highlights more flexibility in post-production you can push your footage further without breaking it better color accuracy and skin tones higher chances of matching footage from different cameras just like professional photographers shoot in raw format professional filmmakers shoot in log just so they can color grade better it's basically flat and then it's color corrected to bring it back to normal and then they push the colors to get that final grade, that final stylized look that they want. Now just some things to keep in mind as well that when you're filming in Apple Pro Res Log on your iPhone 16 Pro or Pro Max or your 15 Pro or Pro Max, you'll need an external hard drive to store the footage, especially if you're shooting in above 4K 30 frames. I'm gonna show you how I color correct and color grade my footage in Final Cut Pro using examples that I shot on the iPhone 16 Pro. Okay, so I'm in Final Cut Pro and this is what I use to edit my videos. So you see, if I just add this um, iPhone Apple ProRes log clip here, um, usually by default in, in the inspector, it's set to camera LUT and Apple log. So this is what it looks like normally. Um, so here's what I wanted to explain to you that if you want to get a conversion lot from someone else, there's many people out there who, who make really good um, conversion lots. And if you're interested in those, you can check those out or you can just uh, use the one here. For example, Tyler Stallman, um, he has um, a conversion lot for Apple ProRes log videos, um, which you shoot on your iPhone 16. So usually the cameras that you have they usually provide you with a conversion LUT, whether you're with Canon or Sony or any other. They give you a conversion LUT for their lock profile, which because every brand's uh, color science is a little different, so they give you conversion LUT. So for now, I'm just going to use the built-in one and convert it to normal. So this is what we have over here. So if I press Command-7, it's going to bring up the Luma scope here, and this is where I'm going to do more adjustments um, with the exposure and, you know, yeah, work with the contrast a little so you don't want your highlights going above 100 and you don't want your shadows going below zero here because if you if i pull it down you see i'm losing a lot of detail in the in the shadows right but and if i pull the highlights up i'm losing a lot of de detail in the highlights so you want to make sure that you're in between this range so i'm just going to pull the the shadows down give it a nice little bit of contrast I think this is good. So usually over here, if you want to add a little more saturation and stuff like that, you can do it as well. But I'm just going to leave it at that. Now, there's two ways to color grade your footage here. Now that the color correction is done, where you've converted it to normal color, you've you know worked with the the, the contrast and you know the exposure. So one way is for you to add a LUT, and I'm sure you've heard this term a lot. Now, a lot of your favorite creators have this. So if you're interested, you know, you're, I'm sure your favorite content creators have their LUTs that you can use. So let's say if I come here and I choose this particular LUT, you see the intensity is applied to 100 and now it has this uh, look. So if I reduce the intensity to whatever I like, you know, it's, 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 it's really good. So you don't want to over you don't want to use it at 100 because it's still too intense. Some people like, you know, uh, it to be really intense. Some people don't. But I'll just leave mine to, let's say, 70. And I think it looks uh, pretty good. What I could add is a curve. And I'm just going to bring it and keep it on top here. You want to make sure that your color wheels where your basic adjustments are, are on top of your custom LUT. So I'm just going to add some points bring this up to give it that faded look bring the darks down just a little bit bring the highlights down bring the lights up oh, just a little bit bring this down a little bit more 
So you see this is the before and after using the curve. So now another way that I want to show you to color grade your footage is to, um, you know, do it manually. I mean, do it yourself without, without having to use a LUT. So what I'm going to do is bring up the hue saturation curves and adjust the colors of certain things here. So if I choose this and I click on the green, if I bring it up, you see it brings up that orange hue but if i bring it down it becomes a little more green so i can just adjust it to the way i want i think i'm just going to bring it up a little bit toward the oranges and let's say if i take the same thing and click it on the same area and i can bring down the saturation or i can bring it up a little bit more and since this is the main color in this video I wanted to pop out a little more and this one is for the luma so how bright or dark it is if I bring it up you see it becomes more bright if I bring it down it becomes darker I'm just gonna leave it as it is so just like in Lightroom you have those color grading wheels you can add certain colors or certain hues in you know the highlights or the shadows or the midtones so let's say for example I want to add a little more green into the midtones. So I'm just going to pull this slider toward the green. You see how it's affecting the midtones. I just added a little bit. It gives a nice green touch in the in the midtones. Let's say if I wanted to add a little more, if I wanted to add some warmth in um, in the highlights. So I'll just pull this toward the orange, and then it starts to affect it. That way, so you see it gives it that warm feel in the highlights. So I'm just going to give it a little bit, not too much. Let's say if I wanted to add a little cool blues in the shadows. Well, not completely blue, maybe a little more toward the aqua side and then pull it there. You'll see a little cooler um, hue in the shadows. See, the more I pull it, the more intense it gets. I'm just going to give it a little bit. So this is another way that you can color grade your footage the way you want by adding certain hues and you can experiment and you know uh, do the way you want and you know see what works best for you or you can just use LUTs. So here's another video of this dog called Gus. He was such a friendly and amazing dog at the Airbnb I was staying at in Colorado and that's where I got the iPhone 16 Pro from. So if over here in the inspector I'm going to change this to Apple Log and it's converted it to normal. And now I'm just going to work on the exposure here. So I'm just going to go to color wheels and I'm just going to bring the highlights up a little bit and bring the shadows down just a little bit. So just a quick before, after, before, after. Now you can add your um, curves over here as well and adjust that, but I'm, I'm just not going to do it right now. So in this one, I will start to add a little bit of, let's say, green into the mint into the midtones. I want to give it that sort of filmic look that I like. So I usually add like some green into my midtones when I color grade my videos um, in the cinematic ones. So I'm just gonna pull it there, give it that nice greenish look in the midtones. Maybe a little cool shadows, just a little bit. So here's a quick before, after, before, after. Now you can also bring up the hue saturation curves here and then adjust certain colors. Um, let's say I wanted to change this green to a little bit of, to, toward the warmth or bring it more darker. No, I think a little warmer would be nice. So I'm just gonna pull a little toward the warmer side and that's it. So yeah, I mean, this is, this is just the basics of uh, color grading. You can obviously do more work on, uh, you know, the hue, saturation, and uh, luminance of gas over here or the pavement. And there's so much more you can do. You can add gradients as well, you know, just like you do with your photos. Make certain areas darker so you focus more on the subject, make your subject a little brighter as well. Now, I'm going to remove this and just add a LUT. So 
So once I added this LUT, you see it just it's just very intense right now and doesn't look so nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the intensity of this LUT to about 50%. You see this is just a before and after, before, after. You see it just has this really nice warm tone. You can increase it more if you want to, you can decrease it more if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it at 50%. So it has this nice warm look to it. The only thing I would do is probably add a little more green into the mid-tones uh, just to give it that look that I like. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So what I've shown you here is just the basics of color grading. And again, I am in no way a professional colorist. And there are many content creators out there on YouTube who show you how to color grade, how to color correct professionally and get really good looking footage. Now you don't always have to film in log. You can film in the normal profile and get away with, you know, some minor tweaks here and there. And it looks great. But if you really want to get into color grading and get that stylized look that you really like and push the colors even further, then filming a log is your way to go. Also, I am by no means a professional colorist. I'm still learning and, you know, I have a long way to go as well. But this is my process. There's many content creators out there who give you so much knowledge on color correcting and color grading. So make sure to watch out their videos so you get even better better understanding and you increase your knowledge when it comes to color grading. So are you going to be filming more in log now that you know how to color correct and color grade your videos? Let me know down in the comments below and also let me know if you have any questions and I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful, do hit the like button and also subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one.